Hi. In some cases, you have merge fields that identify a certain section, for instance a paragraph or a table, but actually they were never replaced with data. Up to now we've always only seen examples of where they are replaced with data. In these cases, we want to have an action to remove the merge field. Let's see how that goes. You open PDF Butter configuration screen. Let's add uh, a config type. Let's take this one. Remove this identifiers. OK. I'll take it of type paragraph. The data source is uh, the line items, for instance, um, or the demo. Paragraph, none. OK. Save the server. Let's create another one. In this case, we'll remove the merge field. Again, a paragraph. Let's take the demo. Doesn't matter in this case. Uh, test paragraph merge fields only. And here we'll take the remove merge field action merge field only. Means it has to remove the merge field, but leave the rest of the text alone. OK. Save the server. Of course, there are some warnings because it indicates that normally you shouldn't have a paragraph when there are no child ones. It's just a warning, so for now, we can ignore it. Let's go back to our, the, our uh, opportunity. Generate the PDF. OK, and let's take a look. How does it look like? This we've already seen. And now here, you see that indeed the merge field here is changed. And this one had a merge field action set to none. And this one is not removed. So the original was this merge field. It's now gone because we set the merge field action to uh, remove merge field only. Let's take it a step further. Also in tables, we can do this. We can have these merge fields identifying the tables and they uh, should stay. So you should see this merge field because it will be none. And then we'll add one that will actually remove the entire paragraph means that this entire section will be removed. That's a paragraph in a Word document. And then we have a last one, merge field only, and you will see the difference. This will only remove the merge field, but not the text behind it. OK, let's get started. I'm just going to copy this one already. OK, add config type, remove these pesty identifiers. OK, uh, it's of course of type table. Data source is opportunity. Merge field. I'll take this one. Single spacing. And it was none. OK, cool. Let's save the server just to be OK. We'll add another one. Now it's Containing paragraph that has to be removed. OK, let's delete these items here. OK, it's of type table. Opportunity merge field, single spacing. And we're going to take containing paragraph. So the entire uh, line will be removed, the entire paragraph where it sits in words. OK, and a last one to remove the merge field only, although we have already seen that one. Table, data source, merge field, action, merge field only. Very easy to do. That's how PDF Butter works. Always easy. Let's save it. Saved in a, in a couple of seconds, and now let's generate it and take a look what 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 has happened. Okay, so none. You see the merge field is still there. This one has removed the entire paragraph, 
if we go to the original, to the, uh, uh, to the template that we have used, you will see that this line is completely gone. So the entire paragraph, the entire line is gone. And then the last one, it's removing the merge fields, only the merge fields. And we'll see here that indeed only the merge field is removed. This is how you can work with merge field actions in PDF Butler.